And what's so great about this program, because I went in, I wasn't necessarily dressed like I am today. I didn't have the best attitude. I got into fights all the time. And what was interesting when I first answered the phone, you know, anybody else would have probably fired me. I'm like, hello, who are you looking for? What you need, huh? What you say? It was really bad. And they made me write out a script and I had to repeat it over and over again. And you think this is simple? Like, of course, the mayor of San Francisco knew how to answer a phone at a business location. No, I did not. And then it's so embedded in my head, I still remember it today. Hi, this is Linda. Thank you for calling the family school. How may I help you? I had to answer the phone like that. And I first had to read it and I had to memorize it and I had to get better. But I also wanted to become a better professional. I wanted to learn, I wanted to grow. I did such a good job that they decided to keep me year round. So I was able to go after school to the family school and to work a job and get paid and it was incredible. You know, we had welfare, like my grandmother raised me. She got welfare for us. And at the time it was food stamps, EBT cards or whatever, what it is now, but we had every social service under the sun and it still wasn't enough to take care of me, my two brothers and my developmentally disabled aunt. And the fact that I was getting paid through this program and the opportunity because, you know, the, the grownups that work with me, they didn't see me as a problem to be solved. They saw it as an opportunity to help a young person grow and thrive and reach their best potential. And they encouraged me to go to college. I didn't even at the time know what college even was. Can you imagine that, a 14-year-old not even really know what college is and what it meant? That's why this program is so important to me. When I became mayor, the first program that I started was Opportunities for All because I never want money to be a barrier to your success. I never want you to ever feel like you can't do whatever you want in life. I never ever want you to not feel that there are opportunities out there. This is an extraordinary city full of opportunity, innovation, wealth. And I didn't even know what was possible when I was a teenager. Today is about learning about what's possible exploring your very best self and taking full advantage of what this could entail because the relationships you develop now, whether it's the companies or the organizations you work for or the relationships with one another, that is what's going to sustain you and carry you through so that you can reach your full potential. Don't ever let somebody tell you what you can't do because you know what you're capable of. You know what you feel inside and what your hearts desire, but never let someone discourage you. If I had let somebody discourage me, I would have never gone to college. If I had let somebody discourage me, I would have never run for public office. So many people told me not to do it and what I couldn't do. And today is about what you can do. If I can grow up in the projects of San Francisco and live there the majority of my life and become mayor of this city, you can do anything you want to do. All of you, everybody in this room. So I want to thank Cheryl Davis for the work that she's doing and learn all that you can learn. Do all that you can do. And also spend your money wisely. I know that's a hard thing, but do what you can in order to learn, grow, and thrive. This is the opportunity that we are trying to bring to kids in San Francisco, especially teenagers, as you prepare for college, a trade, or anything you choose to do in life, do your best and surround yourself with positive people who support you, who have your back, who lift you up, who do everything they can to say, oh, I like that hairstyle, or I love that speech you gave, I got your back by what they say and what they do. That's how you grow. That's how you thrive, taking full advantage of these opportunities. And again, thank you, Cheryl Davis and the team at Opportunities for All. Thank you to our special guests, our Chief Bill Scott and our City Attorney, David Chu, and, and so many folks. This is important to us because you are important to us. And that's why we are here today to celebrate you and celebrate these incredible opportunities. 
So this summer, I hope to see you all out there at some of the organizations and businesses that you're gonna be working in. Don't be afraid to ask questions and do everything you can to grow and thrive in this extraordinary program. Thank you all so much. Well, we are very fortunate that we have some amazing partners and some of them have shown up here today um, to be able to say hello and to kind of celebrate you. And so I also want to recognize, we'll be speaking in a little bit, Josh Ford from Californians for All, but I want to bring up our city attorney, David Chu. I know we got the stage, I don't know, but there's no steps. So um, give it up for David Chu, our city attorney. Thank you. Good morning, San Francisco. How are we doing today? Good morning. All right. Um, this is a wonderful day. Let me just first start with a couple of thanks to Dr. Davis. I want to thank all of the adult employers and sponsors and teachers and mentors. Can we give it up for them? Because you are making a difference every day. Um, I also, of course, have to give it up to the 45th mayor of the city and county of San Francisco because this is a project that came from her vision. This is a project that reflects what we are about as San Franciscans, but this is also a legacy to where she came from and where she has come. And we are so proud as a city uh, that a girl who grew up in public housing in the Western Edition could now help to run one of the most significant cities, not just in our United States, but in the world. So can we give it up to our mayor, London Breed? I have to say, as I was coming over here today, I was starting to think about my experiences as an intern. And since we're all sharing what we made, I made $3.25 in my first internship. Uh, and I often think about, but for those internships, we would not be here today. Um, it was about 35 years ago, I got an internship to work for a civil rights organization that was started in the 1960s in the African American community that appealed to me, a son of Chinese immigrants who when I was growing up never expected not just to become a lawyer but to become an elected official. Because when I was growing up in my neighborhood, in my community, we knew no lawyers, we certainly knew no politicians. That internship that random listing in my school that said, hey, come for a couple weeks to San Francisco to work for this organization changed my life. And I know the internships that you're in will change yours. The internship changed me in all sorts of ways. It taught me what I wanted to do, just as other internships taught me what I didn't want to do. And one thing you will experience will be things that you like about what you're doing this summer. Maybe you like to read and write. Maybe you like to deal with people. Maybe you like to Organize. Maybe you like to clean things up. You also learn what you don't like. Maybe you get bored doing some of those things. Internships help to focus you. Internships so also help you to develop relationships with folks that will matter for the rest of your life. The woman who ran the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights when I interned however many years ago, she and I today play in a Motown band. She has been a supporter and a mentor of mine for decades. And I know that the folks that are mentoring you, the folks that are employing you, they look to you and see ourselves. I know when Mayor Breed looks out to you, when I look out onto you, I see future lawyers. I see future founders of companies. I see not just future department heads, but I see the future city attorney and I certainly see the future mayors of California in this room. But let me just say, at the end of the day, what this is about, this is about making sure that we all get uplifted. Because ultimately, what San Francisco is about is about making sure that no matter what your background, no matter where you grow up, no matter what your parents do or don't do, no matter where you go to school, we want to give you a fighting chance to be everything you want to be. And I am so looking forward to that. I have to tell you right at this moment, uh, as your city attorney, I run an office of a couple hundred legal professionals. And we have a few dozen amazing students from all over the country who are interning with us. And you are bringing a new energy. You're bringing new ideas. You're teaching a whole bunch of us how to use TikTok. 
And we are investing in you because we need you, because our city needs you. We know that our best ideas, the best things that we're gonna do as a city are locked in your heads. And whether you tell us those ideas today or five years from now or 15 years from now, when you're running our organizations and running our city, we wanna nurture you and get you up that path as quickly as possible. So let me just say congratulations for being part of this cohort. We look forward to working with you. We look forward to you guys taking our jobs. And I just want to say, have a wonderful summer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for being the city attorney and shooting. We're so excited again to be here with you and really appreciate all that you do. We want to bring up now some folks who have been with us for a little while. Uh, Dr. Sai, who many of you know from the Human Rights Commission, along with Marquila and Dayani, who are our fellows for the Black to San Francisco cohort, and they've been with us for a couple of years now, two or three, so we'd love to hear about their experience. Give them a round of applause. Well, good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Y'all look so beautiful today. My name is Dr. Saida Leah Tutufu Birch, or affectionately known as Dr. Sai. And I couldn't be more proud to be a daughter of this city. I'm also a cultural orator and disruptor of systems rooted in white supremacist ideology and anti-black racism. And I am a promoter of black liberation and indigenous sovereignty. Why is that important in this moment? It's because every day I get entrusted to show up as my authentic self as a daughter of San Francisco, as a black and Samoan woman in this work, as somebody who will continue to fight for the liberation of y'all, for the liberation of us, and for the liberation of my family. And so as the director of the Dreamkeeper Initiative, I definitely want to thank Mayor Breed, uh, Supervisor Walton, who is not here, Director Cheryl Davis of the Human Rights Commission, who uh, walked that way for, for allowing me to do this work and to do this work with love. And so as I talk to y'all today, my first job out of college was to be the buy coordinator um, for one of our community developers. And what that meant was I had to show up in and relate and connect and to see y'all. And so Opportunities for All is an example of how this city sees you, how we value you, how we know your importance, and how we respect how you show up every day. And also that in knowing that you're going to show up with respect so as you enter your employers, as you enter uh, networks, I encourage you all and impart on you to ensure that your net is working. Don't leave this summer without making connections that land in your next opportunity. Don't leave this summer that um, without connections that allow you to grow and to thrive and to flourish in the city because the city needs you, the city loves you, and we got you. So with that, I'll pass it to Diani who will share her experience. It's great meeting y'all and happy summer. Hello everyone, how y'all doing? My name is Deanna Dillard. I'm a rising junior at Duluth University in New Orleans, Louisiana. Thank you all. My name is Washington Banks. I'm a rising senior at Howard University in Washington, D.C. San Francisco native, yes. So we are Black to San Francisco fellows, and with that, being a fellow requires us to play the role as a go-to person for the interns, seeking guidance and clarity. We're also supports the Human Rights Commission team, and this year working with B2SF is it's not only an opportunity for the interns to come and experience an internship in San Francisco, but it's also an opportunity for the community to be able to experience a culture that not many people have been able to experience before. I think it's so important for everyone to be immersed in something more than what we have grown accustomed to in the city. Being a part of a cohort focused on historically black colleges and universities is a privilege. It is not just about bridging educational excellence in San Francisco, but also about amplifying black voices. Leaving San Francisco to Louisiana allowed me to learn more about my history and helped me learn more about myself. It was definitely a culture shock and attending an HBCU where I can learn from people who look like me is an experience I would never take for granted. I'm grateful for my experiences and even more grateful that we got to bring some of that experience to San Francisco. For me, going across the country to DC was for sure a cultural shock, especially being on a campus surrounded by predominantly black people. Seeing people who look like you succeed gives you the incentive to do so as well. That's what this program is all about. Having people who look like us in spaces that weren't meant for us and being able to experience that even for those who may not have the same opportunities that many people are fortunate enough to have. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you again.
again, Dr. Sai, Diani, Markela for sharing your experience. So many of you, I hope, are having a wonderful experience this summer and have had wonderful experiences in the past and we hope to continue to grow and nurture those desires and those uh, dreams that you have while you're with us in Opportunities for All. Opportunities for All has a number of partners who help make sure that this program can run. Uh, and I'd like to bring up Josh Lord with the California Volunteers. Californians for All is a statewide initiative that believes in the work that we are doing and has committed uh, funding to make sure that you all can get paid. So with that, Josh Lord, Californians for All. Good morning, everybody. I'm really excited to be here. My name is Josh Lord, and I work for California Volunteers in the Governor's Office. Um, I'm assuming none of you have heard of that office before, but California actually has a state office, and our job is to foster civic engagement and service throughout the state, which is really, really exciting. The Opportunities for All program is one of many programs we fund um, as part of the Youth Service Corps, which is a statewide program with 10,000 young people aged 16 to 30 over three years who are doing really critical work in their communities. So if you're passionate about climate change, early childhood education, um, poverty, it's not just that you're doing the work here in San Francisco, but you're part of a larger movement. The state needs you. If we're gonna solve our most pressing challenges as a state, we need everybody in California to be involved. And so that's why it's so exciting that you are part of this program, that you're stepping forward to serve your community. And I'll echo what the prior speakers have said. The network that you're gonna build this summer is going to be the peers that are gonna be with you for the rest of your career. So please take advantage of this incredible opportunity um, make some really deep friendships with people in your community, and join us as we work to solve California's most pressing challenges. Sarah, I'll turn it back to you. Thank you, Josh. So speaking of our partners, many of you are working with different agencies or different companies, community-based organizations, working with your college fellows who are curating these experiences for you, and we could not do this work without them. So I would like to introduce Tina Tam from the planning department with Young Planners. Uh, Young Planners has been with us, I think this is our third year, Tina? Fourth year, oh my God, our fourth year. So with that, Tina Tam. the planning department. Um, I want to go ahead and first thank Dr. Cheryl Davis, um, our mayor, Lincoln Breed. Um, without them, um, we wouldn't be able to go ahead and kick off our fourth year of the Young Planners program. Um, in partnership with OFA, the planning department is supporting and providing 26 interns with not just a paid summer job this summer, but also with a meaningful opportunity for them to share their lived experiences and contribute to our Young Planners program and our planning department. Um, the Young Planners program is a key component to our social and racial equity action plan. We at the planning department are committed to acknowledging and learning about our past planning decisions and action. We're committed to looking critically at how we serve and work closely with our communities. That's all of our communities, especially our communities of color. Interns at, our, at the planning department will explore the history and current work of the planning department. Um, interns will learn technical skills and practical applications and through workshops, seminars, and exploration of the city, often by foot, by bus, or by train, and sometimes by ferry. Interns learn about affordable housing, transportation planning, and environmental justice, and historic preservation. And by the end of the program, interns are inspired, empowered by what they learn, and are eager in planning for a more diverse, more accessible, and more equitable San Francisco. I am truly excited to be working with our young planners. Can't wait to see what, um, what the summer holds for them. So thank you, OFA. Thank you for all the folks at OFA who support in launching our program four years ago and keeping our Young Planners program um, for many years to come. So thank you to them. Thank you, Tina. How many of you guys are in a CSI cohort, Community Safety Initiative cohort? Raise your hand. I see a few hands. I see a few more. 
Many years ago, almost 10 years ago, the Community Safety Initiative launched as a partnership with the San Francisco Police Department to provide internships, paid internships that gave young people the opportunity to build a bridge with the police department. And it was sort of a precursor for opportunities for all. Uh, really excited to have Chief Scott here today uh, to share a little bit about the work that he's been doing and maybe a little bit about our SNPD cohort. Chief Scott. Thank you, Sarah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let's stop trying that one more time. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. All right. So I just want to say it's so such an honor to be here. Uh, this this it feels like this gets bigger every year. And um, I want you all to do me a favor. For those of you that this is your first paid job or first paid internship, raise your hand. question is, these opportunities that you have in front of you are amazing. And, you know, I hear the, heard the mayor's story and our city attorney and Dr. Sai's story. You know, my first job was cutting grass. My second job was washing dishes. So here's the point to this. This city is a great city that wants to help you all be whatever it is that you want to be. You know, and the police department, I think we have about 50 or so in all in, in, in terms of CSI and other internships. Some of you might end up standing here as the chief of police. We have had people from the CSI program that are now San Francisco police officers, but that's not what it's about. What it's about for us is we want you to be whatever it is in your life that you want to be. And wherever that path leads you, this city and our mayor and our city attorney and Dr. Sai and many, many others, Dr. Davis, who, who has put this thing together, we're helping you clear that path to reach your goal. And that's what this is about, because you can be whatever it is in life that you want to be. Don't let anybody tell you anything differently. And you need the opportunity, and it's always good to have somebody helping you. And that's what this is, somebody helping you. Somebody reaching out their hand and saying, you can do this too. So whether this is your first job or second job, or first internship or second internship, I hope what you all get out of this is the opportunity to expand your horizons, to open up your world, your worldview, and really figure out what's next for you in life. Many of you will be going to college, some of you will be getting full-time jobs in the, in the next couple of years. Some of you might go to the military, but it's out there for you, whatever it is that you decide to do. Some of you are gonna be entrepreneurs, some of you are gonna be entertainers, some of you are gonna play sports. I mean, the world is yours, and that's what this is all about. When you see this sign, opportunities for all, that's exactly what it means. And then the last thing that I want to point out is the speakers that you've had in front of you today, we all look like you. The diversity of this city, people who look like you, who are doing some extraordinary things, I hope provides you the inspiration that you too can do extraordinary things because I think you all are extraordinary people. So have a great summer for those of you that will be with the San Francisco Police Department. I think you'll see a lot and you'll learn a lot. We have some amazing people that you'll be working with and we're looking forward to working with you this summer. So thank you all. Thank you, Chief Scott. So once again, we're really excited to be with you all again this year. Super happy to have kicked this off all together and now the fun stuff. just try to give some guidance. No, but I tell everybody all the time, man, people don't have a clue what we do. Take a look around. This is one event of maybe a hundred we're gonna do over the summertime. This is one. And these ain't even our K through fifth graders here. You know, but look, take a look around you, y'all. So this is opportunities for all. This is just one big organization, but it's about 30 cohorts. Mm. 
So it's one organization, 30 cohorts. Collective Impact is a part of all that. I tell everybody, this started, this started a long time ago. At Opportunity for All, started at CSI Collective Impact. Then when the mayor got in the office, she said, like, we need this thing to happen. So why don't we just make opportunities for everybody? And that's how we came about. We went from doing 25 young people to doing 3,800 through the summertime. That's big. That's big. And everybody gets an opportunity. That's why they call it Opportunity for All. But I tell everybody, let me tell y'all this, and let's make it very clear. It doesn't just happen. You just didn't show up in here today and all this was going on. You know what happened? Somebody been getting up in here at 4, 5 in the morning, every morning for maybe a month or two, trying to make all this, trying to arrange all this and make all this happen. So people, who, people that do this work know that it don't just happen. Somebody has to come in here and do the work. We got SFPD, we got the, the Human Rights Commission cohort, we got an art cohort, we got an SFUSD cohort, we got a, a literacy cohort, we got a, um, I, I actually, and I'm gonna tell you what my favorite cohort is, um, I actually brought black educators to San Francisco, so I have, a, I have a literacy education cohort where young people are learning how to be teachers. So that, that's big for me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's about, it's 30 cohorts. So it's, everybody took on, OEWD took on the court, workforce development. I met a young cohort today that was out the public defender's office. So it, it's, it's multitude. I don't have them all, but it, it's plenty, it's plenty cohorts. But it, it's definitely, it's definitely, it definitely means what it say, opportunities for all. Look at the back of that t-shirt. Think about it, think about it. When the last time you all came down and see this many we ain't even just say young people. I met this many folks up in the Westfield Mall. Come on, this is an activate. We don't even realize we're activating it. But this, think about this. Every young person in here gonna come through here at some point on Friday and get a check. What they gonna do with that check? They gonna go down buy school supplies, buy some clothes for school, go down and maybe get them something to eat. You know, it, it, it's an activation in its own way. Look at it, it's 3,000 young people. 3,000 people come through here and pick their check up. So you got to thank the mayor for this. It's like, wow, y'all, we, we are actually finding ways to activate just the whole downtown area. So this is big, this is big. And we will be up in here for the next two summers. So this is big. And you know, beyond Opportunity for All, we will be running cohorts and program out of here through the school year too. So this is big. Um, I think the main thing is that we're just activating the space. Like, you know, when I was growing up, the mall is where young people hung out, right? The food court, you know, trying to get your, like, just uh, window shopping. So I think that it's, it's a new way of thinking about how we bring young people back to the mall. And hopefully they'll help us think about how to, you know, innovate in this space here. I'm very excited about the potential for the, yeah. the space. But just seeing people here now and then seeing people leave here and taking a walk around, like, that's all huge. We had some students here on Sunday and then afterwards they like we had a meeting and then afterwards they were like in the store buying candles and soap and coming back where their one kid was like i don't want to wash next week so i uh i bought something new so i could wear this so you know it's good it's good hello everyone my name is ryan cunningham i'm with opportunities for all i'm a senior fellow i also run the social media management uh, for instagram and facebook and uh, I've been here for four or five years. You know, it's really, they've helped me from middle school, high school, and I'm almost gonna graduate college. It's a great opportunity for kids in San Francisco, you know, get out of your comfort zone, make some good connections, and uh, really experience what we have to offer at Office for All Human Rights Commission. It's a great organization. Hey, my name is Veronica Pittman, and I'm a, a parent of one of the students at Opportunities for All. And I love this program. She's been doing it since she's 13 years old, and now she's 18. She looks forward to doing it every year, and it has provided her with something to do every summer, as well as a way to make a positive way to make some money. So, thank you to all the people that put this together, and uh, I really appreciate it. Hi, my name is Anjanette, and I work for Human Rights Commission, partnering with OFA. This is the fourth year. I was in um, my youth program, but now my daughter is actually in Opportunities for All. This is her second year, and we just rolling with the punches. Thanks to our mayor and Director Davis and everybody else for all the support. What's going on, people? My name is Nico. I work for Opportunities for All, and I'm working with the Community Safety Initiative. Uh, we're doing the Community Development Cohort. I got over 45 kids and we're doing a lot of beautification projects at Ella Hill Hutch. Uh, a lot of documentary work, a lot of mural work, a lot of art work, 
and a lot of hands-on work. Uh, it's a real great opportunity for the young people and uh, we're just happy to be here today. A lot of food, a lot of people, and uh, a really good time. So uh, we're, we're lucky to be in this beautiful place, Westfield Mall, we're turning it out. Hey, I'm Milo. I'm Siggy. And we're here at Opportunities for All. We got some delicious food and we're just out here having a good time. Yes, the Anthony Jones here with the Human Rights Commission. Seventh year of OFA here at Westfield Mall. Program has just been growing and growing every year. And again, you know, this program is so important in connecting young people across the city in San Francisco to different opportunities, making sure that they have summer employment, but also making sure that they can see themselves in some of our high paying industries like tech, like civil service, like architecture, like film, like music, different avenues for everyone. And we're just glad to see that this program is continuing to grow and flourish. People are telling their friends about it. A lot of the young people have come back. We have former participants who are now leading their own cohorts, former participants who are now working in the Human Rights Commission and other city agencies and departments, our police department. So this program has a long legacy of putting our young people in a position to not only succeed, but to thrive and create new avenues of generational wealth for them and their families. So again, we appreciate all of, all of the support from all of our partners. Westfield Mall has been a great partner this year and making sure that we have this space. And you know, even them being here in the mall, the businesses that may have left, maybe we can spark the ideas of our young people to get them thinking about opening up a business, get them thinking about seeing themselves here, not only as a tenant, but maybe as an employee of a tenant. So it all works hand in hand. And again, seventh year OFA, still pushing, still thriving, and still inspiring. Um, I'm enjoying myself. Um, thank you so much to Opportunities for All. I'm really enjoying it.